Hello, and welcome to section one of AWS Essentials. Now, as you can see right now, we have a complete blank slate. We don't have an account. We have no access to AWS services. So this first section is going to concentrate on getting you set up with account basics. So let's go ahead and turn this section on, and we'll see here that we start with you, the account creator. So let's dive into this section. And this section is going to cover the account basics in which the topics will include what is AWS free tier, using AWS free tier, how to create an AWS account, and also how to navigate the AWS console. So let's jump right in and start with lesson one, free tier. And in this lesson, we're gonna talk specifically about what is AWS free tier and how to use AWS free tier. For reference, I'm gonna click on the free tier documentation link down here. I'll drag it over to my other browser window. And with that, let's jump into the lesson. So what is free tier? AWS free tier refers to the limited free use of AWS resources. The AWS offers free tier as means for users to learn, experiment, and get hands-on experience with AWS service. So it's a great way for people who are unfamiliar or who have never used AWS before to have a means to learn and get hands-on experience without it costing them any money. Almost all AWS services offer some kind of free tier usage. Now, not every single service offers free tier usage, but almost all of the core services and everything that we are going to work with in this particular course will mostly be covered by free tier use. Free tier is available for 12 months after you create an AWS account. So after 12 months, free tier for many services will no longer be available. And regardless of your usage for those services, you will have to pay something. Free tier is only available to new AWS accounts. So if you want to take advantage of free tier use, you will have to sign up for an additional account or an extra account if you have been using AWS to this point and your account is already over a year old. And most notably, you can actually do a lot while only using free tier services. So the free tier featured services, and we can view those services over here, really include the core services of EC2, EBS, S3, RDS, DynamoDB, Elastic Load Balancing, SNS, and Lambda. So for your reference, if you click on the link here to bring up this page on AWS free tier service. You can scroll through here and for each service, you can view the amount of hours or usage you will get in free tier for each particular AWS service. And this is very important to view and understand so that if you are only using AWS for free tier and you wanna make sure that you do not get charged, it is very important that you understand how much of each service you can use while under free tier. So I highly suggest that you click on this link and come in and review some of the core features and understand the free tier offering. For example, here, Amazon EC2, you get 750 hours of using various Linux instances or 750 hours using Windows instances. So again, it's just very important to understand that if you do not want to get charged by AWS, you will need to be aware of these free tier limitations. And with that, we will conclude this first lesson. Thank you for watching. You may now move on.